So let's start at the beginning, shall we? We have the upside down Knight of Wands. And you know, Knights usually depict motion. So if they're upside down, um, that means probably to stop, take a little breath for a minute. Uh, it usually is about positive change, good news about work and activities. So um, it does feel like you've been going lickety split for a while, Aries. So slow your roll a little bit, you know, take care of the earth suit, take care of the body. Um, it looks like you've been doing a lot of things in May for other people. So now it's time to just slow your roll just a little bit. Catch your breath before the next wave of activity comes. So the Four of Wands is here. That's jubilation. That's celebration. It could be a wedding invitation, a birth. Um, this could be your own engagement as well, Aries. Uh, but it is some joyful expression. Um, it's usually gatherings of some kind. This could be reunions, family reunions, high school reunions, just getting together with friends that you haven't seen in a really long time. So it does feel like your social calendar is kind of amping up. Pick and choose what works for you. Don't feel bad if you have to have a day of solace, a day of rest or binging Netflix, whatever it is for you, but make sure you carve out some mental mental time for yourself, just downtime for yourself. The lovers are what's above here. It does feel like you've kind of made a re uh, commitment to your heart, either to open your heart or change the way that you love your current partner. Um, for many Aries, I know they've been out of relationship for a long time. So this may be you're ready to connect again with somebody at the heart. But the lovers is above here. So it does feel like a big sweeping shift has happened in your love space. For many of you, it may be releasing a love that hasn't been work working or toxic for you for a while. Uh, so there's a big shift in love, either to love or away from love. <laughs> but there's a big shift for you with the lovers. Knight of Cups is here, um, and the Knight is about motion. Cups are about messages of love or true love. So it may be time to set up your profile online um, or, you know, friend friend somebody that uh, on Facebook that you've been um, meaning to connect with. But now it's time to... Um, put things out in the world in your love space. And for those of you that are dissolving a relationship, maybe just about self-love, about positive affirmations about self-love. So love does look like it is taking a front seat in this reading. So whatever that looks like to you, Aries, it has been amplified. The present time is the magician. This may be you going to classes, um, learning about your own magic, picking up a self-help book, getting into therapy, going back to church, but really connecting with the goddess or God of your heart. And for those of you that walk in the atheist world, you know, that can be just making a commitment to uh, better mental health by getting out there and walking around a little bit more, a little bit more physical activity. But it does feel that you are embracing your spirituality a little bit more, uh, putting it into your daily life if it hasn't been there, uh, or just being aware. It could be as simple as positive affirmations for yourself. Um, the next one is the Ten of Pentacles. This usually dictates that there is... Um, some work being done around the home. This could be, you know, painting your house. This could be actually moving. This could be just getting the kids ready for summer. So it does feel like there's a little more activity around the home, which is probably why you need to collect your thoughts and give yourself a pampering day too, because, uh, it's going to be off at the races for the rest of the summer. So it does feel like you're, um, gathering a lot of activities, figuring out things to do, and maybe doing a little bit of self-improvement around the house. Could be even cleaning the garage, something like that. But it does look like there's a little extra energy and a little extra motion around um, perfecting the home or um, creating a balance in the home. Temperance is here. Speaking of balance, that is the ultimate balancing card. Uh, finding your patience. It does feel like you're having to be patient around um, 
decisions for children. I don't know why that's coming up, but there's some great need right now to find your balance and your patience. You know, when they're up in our faces like that in the summer, we have to really uh, take care of ourselves a little better because they're underfoot. But it does look like some frustrations around changes around children. It also looks like a little wondering, a little bit of unknown uh, what will be happening next. So we have the whole summer to figure that out with the kids. And, you know, if this isn't about kids, this is about activities and uh, finding your balance um, between work and play, between work and play and, and honoring yourself a little bit more this year, which kind of looks like um, the mantra for the year for Aries is find the balance for yourself as well. Don't give it all away. Save some for yourself. So the page of pentacles is here and pages are messages. This can be about a child, uh, most likely an earth, earth sign child, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, pentacles are about material things. So it feels like you may be getting a notice about money. Usually it is a positive notice about money. Um, good news. So you may have put uh, your application in for a new job. So uh, these are the things that the uh, that the page of Pentacles brings to you. Good news regarding money, material goods, worldly ambition, things you want to do, volunteer stuff. But it's usually things to do out in the world that affect money and material things. So uh, pay attention. You may be getting a letter in the mail. The Four of Pentacles is here too. That's kind of the run and hide. Um, after all this activity, it doesn't surprise me that there might be a little hibernation here. Although the Four of Pentacles is really kind of a running away. Make sure you're not avoiding bills, communication, you know, avoiding answering the phone, things like this, because it, it will only amplify those important responsibilities will only amplify if ignored. And that card is here to remind you not to um, ignore responsibilities. You know, if it has to do around money, you can always communicate, um, make a payment plan, something like that, but do not run and hide from communication or responsibilities. Um, you can rest and still be responsible at the same time, Aries. The Hierophant is here. This is kind of a continuation of the Magician. There's a lot of orange here. There's a lot of orange in your reading. When I ask Spirit what that means for you, is you've been doing a lot of self-healing over the last couple of months. It does feel like you, you went backwards a little bit and maybe some codependency or... Um, a toxic relationship, but then it feels like you're on the right path for the last couple of months. So it does feel like you're making yourself a priority. The Hierophant is, is really honoring yourself as a spirit, not just as a body or a mind. It's incorporating mind, body, and spirit and finding that soft space in yourself. Um, it also feels like you've had a wall up for a while and it's okay to be a little vulnerable with the people who love you. You don't have to be a hard ass all the time. Um, it's okay to bring your softness out with people that you trust. The Six of Cups is here on one side. The other side is the Nine of Cups. So it does feel like you're getting your emotions together. You're healing yourself. This may be getting some therapy of some kind. The Nine of Cups can be an abundance card, but this really feels like you have everything you need. Uh, Spirit is telling me you have everything you need and um, all the answers are inside of you. They are no longer locked inside of you and no longer you have to go externally to get those answers. So um, start using those wonderful gifts and tools that you've been given and you've been given many. But this hibernation card, you know, kind of gets you in that... Um, non-complacent space. So the Nine of Cups is to remind you to love yourself, um, continue with the process, release animosities, and it's okay to be a bit vulnerable about the, around the people that you love. All the answers you need are inside of you. You have the abundance of wisdom.
And the other side is the Six of Cups. And this can be messages from the past. This can be a lover showing up from the past. This can be an email all of a sudden from somebody you haven't talked to in 10 years, 15 years. This could be uh, reuniting with someone in your family that you've been estranged from for a while. But this is usually comes right out of the blue and it's some kind of message. And it's usually a joyful one. It's not somebody that wants to set up shop on your couch. It's usually a very joyful one of just a reconnection and sharing and uh, giving and receiving of love. So that is your general reading for the month of June. I'm going to throw a couple of these um, ethereal vision cards. I really liked the pictures they were calling me. So let's see what they have to say. Yes, just say yes. So it's uh, time to say yes to some things. No hibernation. Start accepting some of those invitations. And the next one is leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. So take a leap of faith. Try something different. Trust in your own judgment.